Hello and welcome back to another Mobile Suit Gundam movie. This is going to be movie F91. I believe? Yes, I believe. I'm an idiot. Okay. Yes, it's F91. <laughs> I don't, I, I, I'm sorry. I usually record these whenever I first get up in the morning. So sometimes I'm a little tired still, but you know what? We'll definitely get, get going on this because I do like watching anime a lot, so... I like watching anime to wake up, so let's get into this movie right here. I don't know much about it. I don't know where it takes place. It says F91, so I'm thinking it's going to take place in 0091, the time, like, the year. So, and that's going to be after um, Armadou and Char, counter, or Char's counterattack. So, all right, well, let's get into this. Let's see what happens. I, I, I shouldn't speak anymore. If you're liking the video, please hit the like and subscribe. And definitely this is going to be on multiple parts. And then go ahead and leave a comment down below. What timeline does this take? What? No, I'm not what timeline, but when does this take place at? After Armadou and Char's final battle or before? Or I'll have to do research on it. I probably will. But, you know, definitely leave your comment down below. It's highly appreciated. Let's get into this. Okay, I was about to say, do we got sound there? Oh, it's just being slow. A little loud for me, turning it down, so. Yeah, trying to find this movie anywhere was a little rough unless you bought it, but I don't, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I do pirate a lot of my things. I don't really pirate anymore, but I do look at free websites just because older stuff like this, I don't feel like paying a twenty dollar premium just to watch the movie by Amazon. So this one actually took a little while to actually find and with the subs. It's easy to find without the subs. It's easy to find English dub, but subs was hard. That looks like Armadou. Who is that? Is that just some random dude? Because like, I don't know when this takes place. I know Armadou took down Char, and he survived, maybe. So, I don't know. That's what they're doing, bro. That's what they're doing. They're they're killing you. <laughs> Poor dude just trying to deliver his bread, man. I take it he's a spy. He's he, he's not just trying to deliver bread. Okay. Who is this guy? He seems very main character vibey. So does she, but still. And so does he. So those three seem main character vibe-ish. Oh man, the fishies! Oh come on, don't hurt the fishies. Alright, alright, you know what, I'm done. And that's a very dead person. I hope this thing's very much like 0080 where they weren't afraid to show somebody getting crushed and not just, you know, a lot of effects trying to just smush. She dresses all punk, but she ain't tough. I take it they're on another colony as well. The amount of times I'm going to complain about these colony bases and the efficiency of them 
is questionable. Literally one hole in the side of it kills like millions. And it's so easy to blow a hole in it with how many mech robots there are. Like just one of those blasters can easily put this entire colony dead pretty much. They will expire. Alright, so he's given more main character vibes than the other guy. One, he's got a little sister. And two, he's got the childhood best friend situation. I don't know if she's exactly a childhood best friend, but she's a, she's a romantic interest. Well, until otherwise said. I take it she's a tomboy. She doesn't like to wear dresses. I'm just gonna casually, you know, skate right by, cause everything's fine. I'm surprised they haven't put a hole in the side of the colony yet, cause that's pretty common. Is there's that hole? Is that the hole? Like I said, it takes literally one. Oh, uh, yep, there, there's a hole. And half, and the colony dies. Pretty much. Bye, Fancy Nemo. Bye. I don't know what mobile suit you are, but you remind me of a Nemo, of a GM. I mean, honestly, where do you go in this situation whenever literally you're stuck in a giant cylindrical object? Oh, holy shit! That was brutal! Okay, that is sad too! And this is why war is basically, oh... It looks like a Gundam! I guess it's not a Gundam, it's like a gun tank? A 10 year old suit, okay, so it was made roughly right after the one year war. Alright, they're going into battle now, it looks like. A bunch of kids that don't know what they're doing. You got this, kid. You definitely got this. Oh, you don't got this kid. And he, he oh yeah, he pretty dead. Oh, the poor baby. His neck got snapped, bro. I, 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 I think that's what happened. Yeah, these mobile suit battles, this is really in this is really good. I like this. It's really showing the aftermath of these fights instead of just fighting. Like the other people involved, not like the main Gundam's pilots usually. What is he gonna do now? Dang, they just, they're, 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 they don't even care about the Federation. Oh my god, he was going to use them as shields. So it transformed a little bit.
Wow, they're even willing to shoot children. Federation, come on, guys. You could, you could do better. Is she a new type? I have a feeling she's a new type because she can hear and sense things. Oh, okay, so it's something with the earrings, I guess? I thought it was like her senses. And of course, there's a bunch of people trying to get out of there. Again, I I'm just gonna keep saying it. These colonies seem very inefficient. There's Mr. Delivery Man. And there they are. They're, they're invading in there now. Jagan types. Okay, they're for Jagans. Okay. So they're looking for someone. Probably her. <laughs> and the little girl's trying to prep the little boy that keeps crying. Skin the skin circuit? I like how none of them are super selfish. I have, so, I have a feeling she's very special. It's a special day. What is so special about this? This can't be good. So I take it it's going to be a save the damsel in distress situation? So they're siblings, so he's trying to take her back. So that I, I, I'm trying to figure out why he's trying to take her exactly. So they kidnap the girl. Well, she kind of went willingly in a way at the end. I like how they're all dressing in that 80s, 90s fashion. It's interesting. But yet, yeah, it's supposed to take place years in the future. He couldn't leave the child there. He couldn't do it. Well, yeah, there was one that, that we saw a minute ago. I mean, you guys should have... Oh, yeah, there it is. And she's taking a nice warm hot bath while the rest of them suffer, pretty much. She hates being pampered, it looks like. I'm just trying to figure out what faction these guys are, because they look Xeon-y, but... Did it Neon Zeon and then Zeon? Well, Zeon then Neon Zeon get taken out during Double Zeta because I think this it looks like this takes place after. But are they on Earth now or are they in another colony? I love how the birds just kind of chill with the seats. They're just like, "Yep, we're here. This this is a thing." 
<sighs> okay, they're in space somewhere. So, probably another colony. This this music, yo. And there's the guy that sold her up, basically. Dude just wanted to deliver his bread, but he 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 he, he didn't deliver the right bread. Actually, no, he kind of delivered bread. She's bread. I don't know. All right, we get to meet Daddy. Let's meet Daddy. Let's go. He sounds familiar. Who is this guy? Why does his voice sound familiar? Either that or just the amount of anime I watched, everything sounds familiar at this point. Cosmo Babylonia? Yeah, same questions. I take it that's her grandfather? Yep, that's her grandfather. So basically putting a face on the company. So are they looking around? Oh, they're looking for Oh, she really cares about him. <laughs> <laughs> 